Today we will discuss about uh, what is cell membrane. So last time we discussed about cell wall, and uh, before that we discussed about uh, what is cell. Uh, in cell wall, we discussed about the types of cell wall, different layers of cell wall, function of cell wall, formation of cell wall. So today we will have a look to cell membrane. What is cell membrane? That is also known as plasma membrane and plasma lima. So the cell membrane is a biological membrane separating the interior of a cell from the outside environment. It appears in a thin sections with the electron microscope as a triple layered structure of about 7.5 to 10 nanometers thickness. So first time uh, uh, Professor Najila and Kramer in 1855 just uh, uh, combined this term and uh, give this term as plasma membrane. However, in 1931, Plow, another scientist, just gave uh, another name and combined the term as plasma lima. So this is a, a cell membrane and also known as plasma membrane and plasma lima. So cell membrane is flexible and uh, allows a unicellular organism to move. A unicellular organism just move with the help of uh, cell membrane and where the cell membrane actually leads the cell to move from one place to another place. Here we have a diagram. So we can see that here is the cell membrane. What is the chemical composition of cell membranes? Cell membrane has lipids, lipid bilayer proteins, different types of proteins that helps uh, different ions to move and transport and the lipids just hold it. So four major classes of lipids are commonly present in the plasma membrane. That is phospholipids that presents in most abundant form, spinogolipids, glycolipids, and sterols. Sterols are also known as cholesterol. Sterols are in the form of cholesterol. All of them are am am amphipathic. Cholesterol is abundant in mammalian cell and is absent in prokaryotic cells. So cell uh, chemical composition of cell membrane also has different types of proteins that uh, helps the uh, cell for uh, engulfment, that helps the cell for uh, throwing some uh, material outside, movement of different ions and molecules. So plasma membrane contains about 50% of uh, uh, proteins in its structure. And uh, amount uh, is very and depends on the type of the cell. Myelin cell contains about 25% of proteins, internal membranes of chloroplast and mitochondria contains almost 50% of proteins in their cell membrane. Proteins of plasma membrane are of two types that is known as endoproteins and ectoproteins. Plasma membrane contains structural proteins, transport protein and enzymes. And usually there are some receptors also present in the cell membrane. Structural proteins just give a specific structure to the cell membrane. Transport protein helps uh, to move ions or molecules or different compounds from inside or outside of the cell. Chemical composition also includes enzymes that present in plasma membrane are acetyl phosphatase, ATPs, RNAs, maltase, lactase, and phospholipase. So carbohydrates are also the part of chemical composition of cell membrane present only in the plasma membrane and present as exterior or polar end of the phospholipids at the external surface of plasma membrane. Phospholipid molecule has a polar head and non-polar tail. The polar head is charged and hydrophilic that just loves to water and hydrophobic as you know, a water heading. Uh, hydrophobic uh, portion is inside, however, hydrophilic portion is outside because outside of the cell membrane just uh, has exposure to the water and other uh, different cells and other chemicals. So if hydrophobic portion will be on the upper side, then and uh, you know hydrophobic uh, portion is uh, not water loving, so this uh, survival will be very difficult. So that's why polar head is charged and hydrophilic facing outwards contains phosphate group and glycerol. However, non-polar tail are hydrophobic that don't like water and, uh, and water-like compounds facing inward contains two fatty acid chains that are non-polar. So here we have the uh, diagram of uh, polar region and non-polar region. So you can see this is the cis double bond and this side is polar and hydrophilic. However, this side is non-polar and hydrophobic. So membrane cholesterol, uh, the, the amount of cholesterol may vary with the type of uh, membrane. However, plasma membrane have nearly one cholesterol per phospholipid molecule. So in this diagram, you can see that 
if this is a lipid bilayer, this one and this one, there is one cholesterol molecule present in two different lipid bilayers. You can see here also, here and this way. So proteins are critical to membrane function. Structural support gives recognition, communication and transport. Here you can see in A figure A. So this gives a specific uh, a support to the cell membrane not to dissolve or not to uh, splash. So after that, here we have the, the example of recognition that uh, there will be some uh, interactions. After that, communication, communication with different ions or other uh, cells. And then transport, as we discussed in our previous lectures, that there are active transport and passive transport, how molecules transport or how ions transport from outside of the cell to the inside or inside of the cell to outside. So this also helps, these proteins also helps for the transport. Uh, here we have the structure of uh, uh, cell membrane that contains uh, uh, outer, si uh, outer side of the cell. Here we show the outer side of the cell and here is the inner side of the cell. Here we have some proteins embedded inside the plasma membrane. The carbohydrate chains are represented here. This is the protein molecule. This is the inside of the cell and lipid bilayer is present here. And here we have protein channel that just helps to move some ions or molecules or uh, compounds outside or inside of the cell. So here we have another uh, diagram of uh, membrane, uh, membrane component. So we can uh, try to understand fully what in actual cell membrane looks like. So phospholipids, we have cholesterol, as we discussed that at least one cholesterol molecule there, proteins that uh, helps to give support, recognition, transport. And uh, these are the integral proteins. This one, this is the peripheral proteins, cytoskeleton and glyco, glycolex. So these uh, red color beans type uh, structure is glycolex. So we have this uh, uh, membrane components in plasma membrane generally. So function of plasma membrane includes to keep the cell intact with the, or connect with other cells or give some uh, cell cell communication. Uh, cell mem plasma membrane is uh, protective barrier of uh, cellular components, regulate transport in and out of the cell, selectively permeable that uh, uh, it has the ability to uh, to allow the beneficial compounds outside of the cell from the inside of, to the cell and to just uh, uh, throw out the harmful compounds from the cell to the outside. So small lipid sol uh, soluble molecules, in, uh, for example, oxygen and carbon dioxide can also pass easily through this plasma membrane. Water can freely cross the membrane as it is very beneficial for the cell. Ions and large molecules cannot cross without assistance. If they are uh, beneficial for the cell, then it will move from outside of the cell to the inside of the cell and allow cell recognition. Provide anchoring sites for filaments of cytoskeleton, provide a binding site for enzymes, uh, for different uh, uh, communications, interlocking surfaces, surfaces binding, bind cells together to make specific junctions and contains the cytoplasm that is the actual fluid of the cell. So membrane structures con consist of a phospholipid bilayer combined with a variety of proteins in fluid mosaic arrangement. The surface of cell membrane are hydrophilic. The interiors are hydrophobic as we already discussed this, that the upper side of the cell membrane is hydrophilic and it is the outward side of the cell. And however, inner side is hydrophobic that is inside to the cell towards the cytoplasm. So there were different uh, uh, models that was proposed by different researchers about uh, cell membrane. So first one was uh, Danelli and Davison. Davison model that was proposed in 1935 by Davison and uh, Danelli studied triglyceride lipid bilayers over a water surface. They found that they arranged themselves with the polar heads facing outward. It always formed droplets and the surface tension was much higher than that of cells. It is also known as sandwich type of model. So in this figure, you can see that the lipid bilayer is here, lipid bilayer is here and here. Then there is just a simple way to move and the polar pore is available. However, protein coat is at the upper side of the or the lower side of the lipid bilayer. And also a bridge or junction type uh, uh, lip protein coat to, uh, in, in between the polar pore.
After that, in 1965, Robertson just uh, proposed another structure for plasma membrane with the help of electron micro, uh, micrographs. He saw no space for pores in the electron micrographs. He hypothesized that the railroad track appearance came from the binding of osmium tetroxide to proteins and polar groups of lipids. Proposed unit membrane hypothesis. Last, uh, uh, just Davidson and his colleague just proposed sandwich type of uh, model. However, uh, Robertson just uh, proposed unit membrane type uh, hypothesis and he claimed that there is no space between the pores and there is a lipid bilayer, extracellular side and uh, glycoprotein coat is on the upper side of the bio lipid bilayer. So these two uh, models were not much successful. After that, in 1972, Nicholson and Singer just proposed another uh, model that is fluid mosaic model and the most acceptable model nowadays uh, for plasma membrane or structure of plasma membrane. The biological membranes can be considered as a two-dimensional liquid where all lipids and protein molecules diffuse more or less freely. Almost they claim that uh, uh, there is the two-dimensional of lipid molecules with the lipid uh, with liquid and proteins and molecules are just uh, embedded inside. Uh, some are freely, uh, some are just uh, also outside of the membrane and embedded inside from both sides. Some form only one side of the cell membrane. So they studied that phospholipid bilayers are found and they can form a flattened surface on water with no requirement for a protein coat. It occurs in form of globular protein. So this was the uh, fluid mosaic model proposed by uh, fluid uh, by Nicholson and Singer in 7, 1972. So here you can see that this is just a chunk or you can say a slice cut by electron microscope and you can see that here we have carbohydrate group of glycoproteins, carbohydrate group of uh, glycolipids, extracellular surface of membrane is here and this is the integral proteins, this one here this is a, sli uh, this is a slice of uh, a lipid bilayer and cholesterol as we discussed before that uh, uh, cholesterol molecules are available there this is the intracellular surface of membrane and uh, this is peripheral proteins are loosely attached to integral protein so this in actual the most acceptable uh, structure or model of the plasma membrane that was fluid mosaic model so here we have another figure of fluid mosaic model in which we have this uh, uh, balls like uh, represents the phospholipids. This is also the uh, structure of plasma membrane uh, depends on the model of fluid mosaic model. So here we have a phospholipid bilayer. This is one is phospholipids in actual. So bilayer with this layer and this one layer. This is bilayer. This is the cholesterol. And then we have integral protein. This is the, in the cytosol inside of the cell and this is the outside the fluids of the cell. So here we have cholesterol. And then we have recognition proteins. Here we have receptor proteins that just bind with other receptors or molecules for specific function and interactions. Yes, binding site. This is the binding site we have. Then this is transport protein that helps the ions to move from outside to inside or the molecules or the compound. Similarly, from inside to outside, the harmful uh, components. So this is the pore in uh, transport protein that uh, just make a way to movement of ions. This is the uh, glycoproteins and these are the proteins and carbohydrates. This is protein filaments that helps to give specific support to the plasma membrane. The cytoplasmic membrane in bacteria and archaic uh, also are also thin in structure and uh, this is also present outside the cell, 6 to 8 nanometer of thick viral barrier that separates cytoplasm from environment, highly selective permeable barrier, unable concentration of specific metabolites and excretion of waste products. So plasma membrane is the outer uh, most membrane of uh, uh, animal cell, however, present inside the cell wall of plant cell. Uh, plant cell. And uh, it has uh, different models, proposed different models. So my, the most acceptable uh, uh, proposed model is uh, fluid mosaic model in which uh, we just have a look to the uh, lipid bilayer. Uh, uh, lipid bilayer are available there. Glycolipids are on, on the upper side. Upper side is of hydrophilic nature. However, inner side that are that just exposed to cytoplasm are hydrophobic in nature. So there are recognition proteins, receptor proteins, transport proteins that helps to the movement of ions or drugs or molecules from, in, from outside of the cell to inside. 
and uh, uh, harmful material from inside of the cell to the outside of the cell. So this is uh, in unicellular uh, organisms, cell membrane helps to move the organism. Thank you so much.